You are not live. Hey, morning out there. <laughs> All right, Saturday morning. Um, welcome. And uh, we got the sun shining today. It's amazing. Crisp morning. Uh, we got the smell of Ben effect in the studio. There's something therapeutic about, therapeutic about cleaning. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, we got Janice leading a little meta today, and Vanessa's going to hit her mat, get a sweat on, and um, enjoy some movement and breath. Okay, and you guys, enjoy movement and breath. Good morning. Uh, if you are playing some music along on a second device, you can go ahead and start that. I have a playlist up on Spotify. You can play your own music, or maybe you just want some silence today. So. Once you've done that, make your way down onto your mat into Shavasana, lying down on your back. Maybe you have just rolled out of bed straight to your mat, or maybe you've been up for a few hours enjoying this beautiful morning. Either way, begin to settle down into your mat. Noticing if you've come to the mat with a busy mind. Just visualizing leaving any of those thoughts outside of the room you are in, off of the mat, if they are important. You can come back to them in about 60 minutes. And then begin to bring the attention to your body. Noticing if there are any areas of tension. Is there anywhere in your body that you can let go of, soften? And begin to bring your attention to your breath. Noticing how on each inhale, the body expands. And on each exhale, your body can ground a little further into the mat beneath you, feeling supported by the ground beneath you. And gently begin to wake up the body by wiggling out through the fingers and toes, making circles with the wrists and the ankles, and not just going through the motions, but really feeling out the muscles of the forearms, muscles in the legs, and noticing if there are any areas that are a little sticky, a little tight. And you can take the arms up overhead, get really long here, stretch out, feel out through the side body, maybe even leaning a little side to side, maybe a big yawn. You can let all that go. Bring your knees in towards your chest and wrap your arms around your legs, giving yourself a big squeeze. Maybe even rocking side to side here. Just a gentle massage through the back. And then when you feel ready, you can make your way over onto your front side into wide-legged child's pose. Knees come about mat width apart, toes touch behind you, and your hips come to sit back towards your heels. Arms reach out in front of you as your forehead comes down towards the mat. If it doesn't quite touch the mat, a block or stacked fists can be a really nice option. And then begin to bring the attention back to the breath here in this shape. And notice how it feels a little bit different. On each inhale, feel the skin of the back expand, stretch. And each exhale, maybe the hips come a little closer towards the heels. Checking in with your breath throughout your practice today and allowing it to serve as your primary guide. If the breath becomes a little bit short or jagged, a good indication to back out of the pose a little. Maybe coming down into this shape, child's pose, or lying down on your back in Shavasana and joining back in whenever you feel ready. On the flip side, if the breath is feeling strong and full and buoyant, maybe a good opportunity to challenge yourself, push your edges a little. Alongside your breath, I will be offering you suggestions and guidance, but I encourage you to take what you need here and do what feels good in your body today. Begin to activate through this pose by pressing down the palms so much so that your elbows come up off the mat Maybe hips come a little further towards the heels. Then inhale to come forward into tabletop position. Tuck your toes, bring your hips back into downward facing dog. 
And take any movements that you need here, pedaling out through the legs, maybe bending the knees lots and coming up high on the toes, feeling a stretch of the fascia on the bottoms of the feet, allowing your chest to come a little closer towards the thighs. And then begin to find some stillness in this downward facing dog. Bring your attention to your hands and really plant down through the entire hand, even the fingertips, almost as though you're clawing into the mat. That'll take some of the weight out of the wrists. And avoid locking through the elbows, a slight bend, and even pulling the elbow creases, the inside of the elbow, towards the front of the room. Maybe you feel this a little more in the shoulders. Heels don't have to touch the ground, but they're actively pulling towards your mat, feeling an opening through the back of the legs. And then maintaining that awareness on the back of the legs, slowly begin to walk your feet up towards your hands at the front of the mat, coming into a passive forward fold. So feet are about hip width apart, bend the knees lots so that your belly can rest on your thighs, and just let your upper body hang heavy. You can grab for opposite elbows, maybe gently shake the head yes or no, maybe sway side to side, really feeling out through the neck, the back, Visualizing any tension that has built up in your body, starting at your hips, working its way along your spine, between your shoulders, through your neck, and then out off the top of your head. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Let something go. Release the elbows if they're clasped. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, ground through the feet, come all the way up, arms sweep up overhead, hands come down through heart center to catch the hips. Begin to pour the weight into the left foot only, place the sole of the right foot anywhere along the left inseam for tree pose. Your right toes can stay grounded, maybe they come up a little further. Hands can stay at hips or come to heart center, pressing together firmly at the midline. Gaze comes to one unmoving spot to help with balance. This is a good check-in today. If you wobble, if you fall out of it, it's just yoga. You can just get back into it. Imagine there's a string on top of your head pulling you a little taller. Notice if your mind has already started to wander or to move to judgments. And just experience what it feels like to be in your body this morning. Bring your attention back to your breath. Right knee comes forward, lower your right foot down to meet the left hands, catch the hips, and then switching sides, begin to pour the weight into the right foot. Sole of the left foot comes anywhere along the right inseam. Just avoiding the knee joint if it causes any pain. Hands can stay at hips or come to heart center. comes forward, left foot steps down to meet the right, arms lower down, and then inhale to reach the arms up overhead, grab your left wrist with your right hand, come up and over to the right, crescent moon. Really ground down through both feet, especially the outside edge of the left foot, feel this stretch through the entire left side body. Each inhale, feel your left rib cage expand, and each exhale, maybe coming up and over to the right a little further. Shoulders come away from the ears. Maybe you step your left foot in front of your right, bringing that stretch all the way down into the IT band at the side of the left hip. Hips can bump over to the left. Inhale back to center, uncross the leg, exhale to come up and over to the left. So grabbing your right wrist, coming up and over to the left. You can leave your feet together or maybe cross your right foot over the left. Shoulders come away from the ears. Inhale to expand through the right rib cage. Exhale to come up and over a little further to the left. And bring your attention to the sensations in your body. Notice where you feel a stretch. Notice what feels a little tight. You play around within your body. Inhale, come back to center, uncross the legs, 
Lower the arms down beside you. Inhale to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, side out. Drop the shoulders down. Now inhale, arms forward in front of you, parallel with the earth. Feet can come a little further apart here. Inhale to stand up tall. Exhale to sit down and back. Powerful pose one. Now imagine you've got a block between your thighs and you're activating through your adductor muscles, your inner thigh muscles. Hips lower if you can. Check in with your breath, what feels good. Shoulders stack right over top of your hips. So if you're leaning really far forward, see if you can come a little more upright. Fingertips keep reaching forward, keep breathing. Starting to feel the legs turn on, starting to feel that fire, stick with it, breathe. And then slower than you want to, come all the way up onto the balls of toes, heels lift high, powerful pose two. You can stay here or on each exhale, begin to bend through the knees. And maintaining that awareness on the inner thighs. Imagining that walk is still tucked between your legs and you don't want to let it drop. And if you fall out, just get back into it. It's all good, it's just yoga. And then come all the way up to standing up high on your toes. If you want to challenge the balance, arms can go up, gaze can go up. Reach, reach, reach. Big inhale. Exhale to lower the heels. Right arm comes underneath the left, reaching for opposite shoulders or twist tying through the forearms. Inhale to stand up tall. Exhale to sit down and back. Now with control, right leg comes up and over the left eagle pose. If your right toes are tucking up behind your left calf, just notice if your right hip is really pulled forward. Can you pull it back without creating any pain or sensation in the knee? Right toes can gently rest at the ground to help with balance. And again, shoulders are stacked over top of the hips. Keep squeezing together at the midline. Keep breathing. Stay for an inhale. Stay for the exhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, unravel the legs, unravel the arms. Arms sweep up, get big. And then exhale to switch sides. Left arm underneath the right, reaching for opposite shoulders or forearms. Inhale to stand up tall. Exhale to sit down and back. With control, left leg comes up and over the right. Twist time through the legs, squeezing the legs tight. Arms squeeze together tight, maybe elbows lift up off the chest. Maybe hands come forward a little. Notice if any tension has built up in the face. Can you soften there? But keep squeezing through the legs, squeezing through the arms. Maybe you sit a little bit lower. Stay for the inhale. Squeeze tight on the exhale. Inhale to unravel legs, unravel the arms, arms sweep up, and then sit down and back into chair pose. So toes are about, toes are together, <laughs> heels are about an inch apart, hips sit back as your arms reach forward. And if this is a lot on your shoulders, always the option to take the shoulders a little bit wider, or maybe a little further forward. Legs squeeze together tightly, weight comes back into the heels. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to spin to the left, right forearm across the thighs, left hand to low back, or palms can come together for prayer twist. And just take a peek down and notice if your right knee has popped forward, you can gently tug it back. And just notice if you're really wrenching into the twist. Can you come out of it a little bit, and each inhale find length, and each exhale find a little more twist, imagining the spine twisting. Check in with the breath. Maybe the hips can sit a little bit lower. Challenge yourself. Inhale, come back to center. Stand up tall, reach up. Exhale to sit down and back chair pose. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to spin to the right. Prayer to a second side. Either left forearm across the thighs, right hand to low back. Or palms come together at the chest and left elbow can either rest in between the knees or on the outside of the right thigh. Notice that that left knee has popped forward. Can you gently tug it back? Keep breathing. Maybe you sit your hips a little lower. 
Inhale, come back to center. Stand up taller, reach up. Exhale to lower your hands to your low back, just above your glutes. If you have any low back sensitivities, bring your feet a little bit further apart. Really ground down through both feet, strong through all the muscles of the legs to stand up tall. And then begin to lift your heart up towards the top corner of the room, standing back bend. Imagining you have a grapefruit tucked between your chin and your chest. Keep lots of length in the back of the neck. Elbows pulled towards the back, the room opening up through the front of the chest. We spend so much time rolling forward at desks, at devices, at books. This is a really nice counter pose, so see if you can really feel the front of the chest opening here. Keep breathing, stick with it. And slowly come all the way back up to center, lower your hands. You can grab a drink of water if you'd like, and then we'll meet at the front of the mat. Finding a strong mountain pose here. Feet can be together or hip width apart, arms reach down behind you, standing up tall. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, palms come down through heart center, fold all the way forward, bend the knees a little. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale to plant the hands, step back, high plank. So we're gonna be here in high plank for a few breaths. Always the option to bring the knees down for a modified plank. Shoulders stack right over top of the wrists. Keep grounding down through the fingertips, that clawing motion into the mat. Heels stack right over top of toes. Your one long line from your heels all the way out through the top of your head. Keep pushing down into the mat strong. We'll move through a modified flow together, so stay for an inhale. Exhale to lower the knees, untuck the toes, lower the upper body down, elbows stay in. Gaze stays down, lift the shoulders, gentle cobra. Then exhale to push through the knees, tuck the toes, bring your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Inhale, left leg lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, left foot steps through between the hands. Now come up really high on your back toes, setting up for runner's lunge. Left knee stacks over left ankle. When your legs feel steady, upper body hovers at about 45 degrees, arms reach back. Left hip gently pulls back as your right hip pulls forward. Fingertips are actively pulling back, pulling your shoulders away from your ears as your head reaches forward. And you can clasp behind your back, your hands, just to open up a little more through the front of the chest. And then release the grasp. Inhale, arms reach up overhead, crescent lunge. And maybe you play around with the back knee here, giving it a little bend and even pointing the tailbone towards the mat. And just notice how that changes the sensation in the front of your right thigh, your right hip flexor. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Frame the left foot, step back, high plank. Another modified flow here, stay for an inhale. Exhale to lower the knees, untuck the toes, lower the upper body down slow with control. Push through the tops of the feet, lift the shoulders, gentle cobra. And exhale, push through the knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Inhale, right leg lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, right foot steps through between the hands. Runners lunge, second side, come high off the back toes. Right knee stacks over right ankle. When your legs feel strong and steady, upper body lifts about 45 degrees, hovering above your right thigh. Arms reach back. Stick with your breath. Maybe challenging yourself to lunge a little bit more. Release the clasped hands if they are clasped. Inhale, arms come up overhead, crescent lunge. Find the lunge in the front leg, and then again, maybe playing through the back knee and pointing your tailbone towards the mat, just noticing the change in sensation and finding a place that feels like a good stretch for you today. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Frame the right foot. Step back, downward facing dog this time. So your choice, you can stick with modified flow if that feels good in your body. 
always the option to skip out on flows. We'll always meet back here, downward facing dog. Otherwise, I'll speak to full flow. Inhale, come forward into high plank. <laughs> Exhale to lower halfway. <laughs> Inhale, push to the tops of the feet and the hands only, upward facing dog. And exhale, come over the toes, hips come up and back into downward facing dog. So if the full flow brought up any sensitivity in the wrists, the shoulders, or the low back, a good indication to stick with the modified flow today or until you're a little bit warmer. Inhale, left leg lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, left foot steps through between the hands. This time your right heel comes down to the ground, back foot's about parallel with the back of the mat, setting up for warrior two. When your legs feel steady, upper body lifts, shoulders over hips, left arm forward, right arm back, warrior two. You may need to widen out your stance a little. Take a nice big stance so that your left knee is not going beyond your left ankle. Keep grounding down through the outside edge of the right foot. Gaze can go over the left fingertips if it feels okay on the neck. Then check in with your breath. Can you lunge a little bit deeper? Palms flip to face the right side of the room, thumbs up, left arm down, right arm up, bent leg triangle, trikonasana. Keep the lunge in the front leg. Gaze can go up towards the right fingertips if that feels okay on the neck. And maybe a gentle pressure of the outside edge of the left forearm or hand into the left inner thigh. Upper body spirals open towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale to find your lunge, find your edge here. Straighten through the front leg, windmill the hands to either side of the front foot, step back, high plank. Your choice, modified or full flow, stay for an inhale. Exhale to lower, slow with control. Inhale, upward facing dog or gentle cobra. Exhale through the knees or over the toes, back to downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Inhale, right leg lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, right foot steps through between the hands. Left heel comes down to the ground. When your legs feel steady here, upper body lifts. Right arm forward, left arm back, warrior two, second side. And take a look at your right knee, and if it is coming beyond your right ankle, take a wider stance. Your back foot is parallel to the back of the mat, or maybe it's turned in a little, depending on the orientation of your hips. And gaze can go over the right fingertips. Arms keep reaching out strong in opposite directions. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Check in with your breath, check in with your body. Can you lunge a little bit deeper through that front leg? Keep breathing, stick with it. Palms flip to face the left side of the room. Right arm down, left arm up, bent leg triangle trikonasana. Maybe a gentle pressure on the outside of your right arm or hand into your right inner thigh. Upper body spirals open towards the ceiling. Keep that bend in the front knee. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale to find your lunge, find your edge. Straighten through the right leg, windmill the hands to either side of the front foot, step back high plank. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to lower. Inhale, upward facing dog or gentle cobra. Exhale, come through the knees or over the toes, back to downward facing dog. And walk your hands towards your feet at the back of the mat, coming into a more active forward fold here. Feet are about hip width apart. Bend your knees as much as you need to grab onto your toes with your peace fingers. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to pull yourself forward with a flat back. And you can take as much of a bend in the knees as you need here. Maybe more of a bend will allow you to get more into sensations in the back. And if you begin to straighten out through the knees, maybe you begin to gently open through the hamstrings or the calves. Each inhale, lengthen. And each exhale, pull yourself a little bit further. Release the grasp on the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Ground through the feet, arms reach up overhead and come down through heart center. 
Another great opportunity to grab a drink of water here if you need. Otherwise, we'll meet back around the center of our mat for balancing. So once you arrive on your mat, setting yourself up into that strong mountain pose. Feet can be together, maybe hip width apart. Standing up tall as though I have that string on top of your head and I'm pulling you up as your arms reach down and actively pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Lots of engagement here, standing up tall. Notice if there's any tension in the face. Notice if the thoughts have started to wander. Bring the attention back to your breath. Then begin to notice the weight distribution between your left and right foot, maybe gently rocking side to side and finding a point of balance between those two points. And do the same thing front and back, weight pours into the heels and the toes, making that movement smaller and smaller until you feel really grounded and centered. If the eyes are closed, you can gently open them. Hands catch the hips. Extend your right toes back as you begin to pour the weight only into your left foot, slight bend in the left knee. And then using the glutes and the hamstrings on the back of the right leg, lift your right leg up top of the tree. Arms can reach out behind you as your head reaches forward. And then you can begin to hinge over your left hip, maintaining a slight bend in the left knee. Lots of activation in the back foot, so toes either point towards the knee and the heel kicks out, or toes point towards the back of the room. Right hip gently rolls down, feeling the lift on the right leg from the right inner thigh. Keep breathing. Hands catch the hips. Inhale to bring the right knee forward, up and through to 90. Stand up tall. Exhale to kick your right foot forward. Inhale to 90. Exhale to lower the right foot down. And begin to pour the weight into your right foot only. Drag your left toes behind you. Slight bend in the right knee as you lift your left leg up, really focusing on the muscles on the back of the leg to do the work. They can begin to hinge forward over the right hip. Arms maybe reach out behind you as your head pulls forward. Lots of activation in that back foot. Keep breathing. Relax the jaw, the space between the eyes. Hands catch the hips. Inhale, left knee comes forward up and through to 90. Exhale to kick the foot out in front of you. Inhale to 90. Exhale to lower. And lower the hands down beside you. Big inhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Drop the shoulders down. One more of those. Big squeeze up towards the ears. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, side out. Drop them down. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale to lower the right arm down. Ground through the left foot, slight bend in the left knee as you kick your right foot into your right hand. Inhale to reach up through the left fingertips. Exhale to kick back into your right hand. Dancer's pose. You can stay here, perfect dancer's pose, or begin to hinge forward over that left hip, maintaining the kick into the right arm, maintaining the activation through those left fingertips. Slight bend in the left knee. And notice if you've opened really far to the right side, can you bring your right hip down a little more in alignment with your left? Keep breathing here, finding your full expression of dancer's pose, kicking back into your hand for three, three, two, one. With control, come back up to standing. Lower your right foot, lower your left hand. Big inhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, side out, drop the shoulders. Second side, inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale to lower the left arm down. Ground through the right foot, slight bend in the right knee. Kick your left foot into your left hand. Inhale to reach up through the right fingertips. Exhale to kick back into your left hand. Stay here or begin to hinge forward. Keep kicking back into your hand. Keep breathing. Finding your full expression of dancer's pose here today. Kicking back into your hand for three, two, one. With control, come back up the center. Lower your leg, lower your arm. Big inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale, side out, drop the shoulders down. 
Tree pose, second set, hands catch the hips, begin to pour the weight into your left foot only, sole of the right foot comes anywhere along the left inseam. Maybe this time you bring it a little bit higher. Hands can stay at hips, come to heart center, or maybe you grow your branches, arms reach up overhead. And if you follow, just get back into it. And if you're feeling really steady here, or if it's been a long time since you have fallen out of tree pose, I encourage you to challenge yourself. Maybe gaze goes up to challenge the balance. Maybe you close down the eyes. It is very hard to balance with your eyes closed. Try it in the comfort of your own home. And if you fall out, when you fall out, just get back into it. Your arms are reaching up. Inhale, get really big, take up space. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Catch your hip, lower your right foot down to meet the left. Begin to pour the weight into your right foot now. Sole of left foot comes anywhere along the right inseam. Again, just avoiding the knee joint if it causes any pain. Hands come to hips, maybe heart center, or maybe your arms reach up overhead. Keep grounding down, left foot pushes into right leg as right leg pushes back into your left foot. Imagine that string on top of your head pulling you up a little bit taller as your shoulders ground down, pull down away from your ears. If your arms are lifted, fingertips stretch, take up some space here, maybe challenge the balance. Big inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center, catch the hips, lower your left foot down to meet the right. Grab a drink of water and then make your way down onto your back for midway shavasana. <laughs> Doing great. So settle into stillness as quickly as you are able. Notice any thoughts of judgment or evaluation. Remind yourself that yoga is an exploration of what it feels like to be in your body today. The body you have today is different than the body you had a year ago, and it's different than the body you will have a year from now. Begin to bring your attention to the pace of your heart. to your breath. And see if you can begin to tune into the energy coursing its way throughout your body. And if this ever brings up any sensitivities in the low back or you feel like you have a really big curve in your low back, always the option to bring the soles of feet onto the mat, about mat width apart, knees knock in. You can even lift your hips up and flatten your lower back a little, and this can take off some of the pressure, especially if you have tight hip flexors. If you sit a lot or cycle a lot, uh, this can be really nice for the low back. And if you aren't there already, bring the soles of your feet onto the mat, knees point up. We'll do thread the needle. So right ankle crosses over top of left thigh, right toes extend back towards the right knee. This might be enough here, feeling a stretch on the outside of the right hip. Otherwise, bring your hands through the hole you've created. Wrap around on the back of the left thigh, maybe front of the left shin. Uh, a strap can be really helpful here as well. Just keeping your shoulders and your head grounded. And maybe you rock a little to the left and just see how that changes up the stretch in the outside of your right hip and glute. Maybe you actively pull your right knee away from you. And play around and find a place that offers a really nice stretch in your body today. Maybe it's rolling all the way over into a kind of twist variation if you like that. Slowly releasing the leg, uncrossing the ankle and switching sides. So left ankle across right thigh, left toes pull back towards the left knee. You can reach around for the back of the right thigh, front of the right shin. And then again, explore within your body and find a nice space. Maybe it's rolling a little to the right. Maybe it's rolling all the way over to the right into that twist variation. Be 
each inhale, feel the belly expand. Then each exhale, gravity and the weight of your arms, pull your right leg a little closer towards your chest. Notice if your mind has started to wander, thinking about things to come, lists, things to do, and see if you can just drop that, come back to your mat, come back to your breath and the sensations in your body. Take two more rounds of breath here on your own. At the bottom of your second exhale, slowly release, uncross the legs. We'll move into some abdominal strengthening here. So if you know that your low back needs a little extra support, palms down on either side of your sacrum into the mat can be really supportive. And you'll lift your legs up to your big letter L shape, so your soles of feet point up towards the sky. Inhale to extend out through the heels. Exhale to lower the right leg down halfway. Stay, inhale. Exhale to lower the right leg to hover. With control, inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, left leg comes down halfway. Stay for the inhale. Exhale to hover. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, right leg comes down halfway. Stay, inhale. Exhale to hover. Inhale, come all the way back up to center. Exhale, left leg comes down halfway. Stay, inhale. Exhale to hover. Inhale, back to center. And stay here for a moment. You can stick with one leg at a time if that feels good. Otherwise, we'll move through two more using both legs at the same time. So inhale, reach up through the heels. Exhale to lower the legs down halfway. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, legs come down to hover. Gaze comes up to look at your toes and maybe you gently flutter or make circles. Four, three, two, one. With control, legs come back up to center. Inhale. Exhale, last one, stick with it. Legs come down halfway, you got this. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, legs come down to hover. Gaze comes up to look at the toes and make circles the opposite way. Flutter, scissor, whatever you want. Just move your legs. Keep going. Keep breathing. Chest is broad. Four, three, two, one. Legs come back up to center. And then exhaling, lowering the legs down to your own count of ten as quickly or as slowly as you'd like. When you arrive, soles of feet come together. Knees come apart. One hand to belly. One hand to chest. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Good job. And if that doesn't feel good on the hips, always the option to bring the feet to the mat and knees knock in. Just taking a resting pose here, checking in with the pace of your heart, checking in with your breath. And we'll stretch that out with bridge pose. So bring your hands to the outside of your knees, Close them up like a book. Reach your fingers towards your heels. You may need to walk them in a little. And then push down into your feet to lift your hips up. Palms either press down into the mat or interlace underneath your glutes. And walk one shoulder underneath the body at a time. And then imagining that block between your legs again, squeezing the inner thighs together. Keep grounding down through your feet to lift your hips. Notice if you're really clenching into the glutes. Can you just let that go and let the lift come from the muscles of the legs? Softness in the front of the throat, allowing each inhale to come to the upper chest. And each exhale, really ground down through the feet. And release the hands if they're clasped. Gently lower down one vertebra at a time. Feet come mat with apart, knees knock in, or legs extend towards the back of the mat. Just allowing the spine a moment here to reset in neutral after a back bend. When you feel ready, make your way over onto your stomach for spinal strengthening. Setting yourself up, lying face down. Palms come underneath your shoulders or next to your rib cage. Forehead gently rests on the mat. Tops of feet, so the shoelace sides of the feet push down into the mat, so much so that your knees lift. Push down through your pubic bone, and then using the tiny muscles on either side of your spine, begin to lift your shoulders up. We've been here before, gentle cobra. 
little to no weight in the hands, gaze stays down. Visualize length from your tailbone all the way out through the top of your head, long spine. Keep grounding down to the tops of your feet. And lift your hands up off the mat, float your arms behind you. They can either reach back or clasp above your glutes for full locus. Lift your legs up, lift your upper body. Get really long here, so toes pull towards the back of the room as your head pulls forward. Maybe your interlocked hands come up off the glutes, opening up through the front of the chest. Keep breathing. And slowly lower down. Gaze can go to the right, left ear on the mat. Just arms extend behind you. And then bring your attention to your lower back. Send your breath there, noticing on each inhale, as the belly expands, it pushes up on your back. And each exhale, as the belly empties, your lower back comes a little closer towards the mat. And gaze comes back to center. You can stick with one of those two spinal strengthening options. Otherwise, move into floor bow. So kick your feet up towards your glutes and reach for the outsides of your feet. And begin to kick back into your hands so much so that your upper body lifts. A really nice option is to grab onto the ankles, flexing the toes back towards the knees, especially if there's any knee sensitivities. This can be a really nice option. Keep kicking back into your hands. Breathe. Gaze can go up if it feels okay on the neck. Keep kicking. And slowly release down upper body, release the legs. Gaze goes to the opposite side, so the left, right here on the mat. Maybe you want to bring your heels up and windshield wiper your legs back and forth to release through the low back. Bring your legs down towards the mat. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Slowly bring yourself back to child's pose, first coming through a tabletop position. You can do a more traditional legs together, child's pose, or wide-legged knees apart, toes together, whatever feels best in your body. And take a moment to check in here. If some stillness and this shape feel really great in your body, you're welcome to stay here. If a little more movement would feel good, come forward into tabletop and work your way through some cat cows. And if a little more strengthening feels like a nice option as well as some movement, we'll move through two more flows together so you can tuck your toes, bring your hips back into downward facing dog. And your choice, modified or full flow. So stay here for an inhale, sigh it out through the mouth, exhale. Inhale, come forward into high plank. Exhale to lower, elbows stay in strong with control. Inhale, upward facing dog or gentle cobra. And exhale slowly with control, bring your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, upward facing dog or gentle cobra. And exhale slowly back to downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Bring your knees down to the mat, coming behind your wrists. You can grab a drink of water here if you need. Move into sleeping hero pose, so if you know and love it, you can go ahead and get into it. Otherwise, knees come about mat width apart, toes touch behind you. Hands reach back behind you. Take a moment to lift the hips up, push the knees down, and then lower your hips back down. This might be enough of a stretch through the quads here. Otherwise, maybe you walk yourself down onto elbows, maybe all the way down onto your back. If this is not happening for you, always the option to do one leg at a time, a quad stretch lying on your side. Let's bring your top heel towards your top glute and push your top hip forward, getting a nice stretch through the front of the hip flexor, the quad, wherever you are. Bring your attention to the sensations in your body. Keep breathing. If you're doing one leg at a time, you can go ahead and switch legs. Notice any tension that is built up in your face. 
here. If your mind has started to wander again, bring it back to your mat, back to your body. And slowly making your way out of this shape, coming up first onto elbows and hands, walking yourself up with a flat back. And then just sitting on your shins, you can tuck the toes under if you'd like a little stretch through the feet. Palms plant on top of the thighs, sit up tall, and just close down the eyes or soften the gaze and take a few breaths. Open up the eyes if they're closed. Plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, right knee comes through to the top of the mat, just behind your wrist, setting up for pigeon pose. Extend your left leg out behind you, and maybe you walk your hands up beside your hips, finding a nice position for that front knee. Maybe it's a number seven, maybe that right foot is tucked a little more into the left hip. You can stay upright, or begin to walk yourself forward. And take some time to really set yourself up. So a block underneath the right hip can be really nice, or some books if you don't have a block. A block in front of the left quad might take some pressure out of the back knee. And if there's any pain in your hips, your knees, your ankles, readjust. Always the option to take another thread the needle pose on your back or deer pose coming all the way over onto your right hip. Both legs are at about 90 degrees. What you're looking for is a stretch on the outside of your right hip. Wherever you are, soften through the face. Soften the shoulders down away from the ears. And take three more rounds of breath here. And when you feel ready after those breaths, slowly walk yourself back up. Tuck the back toes, plant your hands, bring your hips up and back into downward facing dog. You can take any movements that you need here. Uh, maybe pedaling it out, maybe uh, another flow, and then we'll switch sides. So left leg lifts towards the ceiling, and left knee comes forward up and through to the top of the mat. Extend your right leg back, and take a moment to get comfortable here. Again, always the option to do thread the needle or deer pose. Staying upright will allow you to get more into the front of the right hip flexor. Maybe coming down allows you to get a little more into the outside of the left hip, left glute. And just find the space where you can settle in for a few breaths. Any tension in the face. And take three more rounds of breath here. Once you've completed those breaths, slowly walk yourself back up, plant the hands, tuck the back toes, bring your hips back, downward facing dog. And again, take any movements that you need here, pedaling out through the legs, wiggling out through the hips, maybe one last flow if you want to take that now, you can go ahead and do that. And then we'll meet on the mat. So bring your knees down towards the mat, swing your legs out in front of you. Finding a seated pose, sitting up tall with your legs extended out in front of you. Bring your right knee in towards your chest, cross your right foot up and over the left. Right fingertips behind you, inhale to sit up tall, lift the left fingertips, reach up. Exhale to twist to the right. Left arm can either wrap around the right knee or maybe outside of the left elbow comes to the outside of the right thigh. 
Keep a little awareness in those left toes, pulling them back towards your face. Little to no weight in that back hand. And again, notice if you're really wrenching into this twist. Can you come out of it a little bit? Each inhale, find length. And each exhale, just find a little more of a twist. Gaze can go over the right shoulder if that feels okay on the neck. Imagining that string on top of your head, pulling you up taller on each inhale. And twisting a little more on each exhale. And slowly bring yourself back to center. If a counter twist feels good, you can take a gentle twist to the left. And it'll switch sides, so uncross the legs. The left knee comes in, left foot up and over the right. Left hand gently behind you. Inhale to reach the right fingertips up, sit up tall. Exhale to twist to the left. Again, keep a little activation in those right toes back towards your face. You may even wish to close down the eyes and really tune into what this feels like in your body. Are you forcing a twist? Are you wrenching? Or are you finding a twist from within, visualizing the spine? Gaze can go over the left shoulder. Keep breathing. And slowly make your way back to center. Again, you can counter twist, gentle twist to the right if that feels good. And then I cross your legs. Move into an active cobbler's pose. So soles of feet together, knees apart. Uh, you may wish to sit up on a block or a blanket here. It can feel really nice. Inhale to sit up tall, long spine. And exhale to bring yourself forward with a long, flat spine. And just stopping yourself before you start to curl. Each inhale, lengthen. Each exhale, maybe gently pull yourself a little forward. And you can stay here in an active cobbler's pose, or maybe you turn it a little more passive, and on the exhale, you just begin to curl forward. No muscular effort needed here. Arms can just rest on the legs. Maybe forearms come underneath the calves. Head hangs heavy. Again, visualizing here any tension in your body, starting at your hips working its way along your spine, through your neck, and then out off the top of your head. Inhale, feel the skin on the back stretch. Exhale, maybe bring yourself a little closer towards the earth. Take two more rounds of breath here on your own. And slowly bringing yourself back upright whenever you feel ready. Hands come to the outside of the knees, closing your legs up like a book. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a big squeeze here, maybe tucking your chin in towards your chest. Send a couple breaths of gratitude to yourself for making it here today, to your body for completing this hard work. And when you feel ready, you can release the arms, release the legs, grab a drink of water, and make your way down onto your back for final Shavasana. And taking any last movements or fidgets that you need to get comfortable and find some stillness. Maybe pressing down into the heels and lifting your hips a little to flatten out your low back and lower the hips back down. Maybe pressing into the back of the head so you can walk one shoulder blade underneath the body a little further away from the ears. And then doing a scan here starting at the top of the head. Relaxing the space between the eyebrows. Maybe giving the jaw a little wiggle and then allowing it to relax. Softness in the front of the throat. 
Shoulders are heavy into your mat. Arms are soft. Maybe there's a natural gentle curl of the fingertips. Belly is relaxed. Hips are weighted evenly and heavily into the mat. Legs are heavy. Maybe your toes gently flop out to either side of the mat. Stay here as long as you are able, as long as you'd like to. When you are ready to leave, I challenge you to stay for just five more deep breaths, soaking up some stillness. Thank you so much for sharing your practice and your energy and your time with us. Look forward to seeing you and your faces soon. The very best in me sees, acknowledges, and bows down to the very best.